Yo, what's up? What's the business? Listen, it is your boy, Trey Sense, and back. Got a little bit of a review, uh, review. Got a little bit of a review, a little bit of a discussion. You know how we do it here on the channel. Before we even get into it though, I need something from you. I need you to like this video. I need you to share this video. And if you haven't, I need you to sub to the channel. We set a record in July, and then we broke that record in August. Most profitable month for the channel, guys. I I'm so humbled and I greatly appreciate it. So thanks to all those who have tuned in and who have been rocking with your boy for quite a while. I appreciate it, man. It means a lot. So I've been doing a lot of purchasing lately. And these are just some fragrances in my collection that, well, I've got to get on skin as we transition from summer into fall and then fall into winter. These are just some fragrances that I feel like I just, I need to get on my skin. All right, no further ado, let's get into it. The first one I want to talk to you about is from the house of Paco Rabanne, and it is from the Invictus, Invictus line, which is one of my favorite lines, and it is Invictus Victory Elixir. Love this pretty bottle. This thing right here is good. Now, <clears throat> do you need Invictus Victory Elixir and Invictus Victory? Honestly, no, you don't. Either or, either or. They, they are very, very similar. This one gives me a baked cookie sort of vibe or It's a really good fragrance, but it does give me the 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 scent of like something being baked. Now, it dries down and goes away from that, but in the top, I get like a baked cookie sensation. Is it a good smelling fragrance? Yes. Do I like it more than the original uh, Invictus Victory? I can't say that I do. It's about tit for tat. Um, it was one I wanted to get in my collection. I have it in my collection and I'm glad that I do, but I also collect fragrances and I also review fragrances. So for doing videos and video sake, uh, I'm glad that I have them both, but for personal use, I don't think you would need both of them. I just don't, unless you're trying to, uh, you know, collect the entire Invictus line. I don't mind picking up fragrances like this because for whatever reason, they're discontinued really, really fast. And when they do, the price goes up. Not that I want them because the price, I feel the price will go up once it's discontinued. I just like having a wide variety of fragrances as part of my hobby. And with any hobby, whether it's sneakers or guns or boats or marbles or stamps, whatever, coins, there's always a price involved in it. But I think this one will be great uh, as we transition seasons from summer into fall, especially in the evening time, in the nighttime, on a date. Yeah, I think it's got that, that smooth, buttery, baking sort of vibe going on. So from the house of Invict, from the house of Paco Ravon, from the line of Invictus, it is Victory Elixir, and I absolutely love the color of the bottle. This next one, I definitely need to get it on my skin and I haven't heard really anybody talk about this fragrance a whole lot. It's from the house of Gucci, from the line of Gucci Guilty and this is Gucci Guilty Essence. And this is another one that I will tell you if you have the original Gucci Guilty or Gucci Guilty Black, I don't really think you need this one. Um, this would definitely be a daytime wear It's a little bit fresher than the original Gucci Guilty and it's got a little bit more of a floral nuance to it. But the mid and the dry down is very, very similar to the original Gucci Guilty. Where they get you is in the opening and that's a cute little trick because when you spray it on, you're gonna be like, oh, that's so nice and so fresh. 
so fresh and so clean, and that's where it differs from the original Gucci, from the original Gucci Guilty. Now, do I like it? Yes. Am I glad to have it in my collection? Yes. And the openings are different. This is much fresher in the opening and a little bit more floral. Well, not a little bit more floral. Floral, because I don't remember the original Gucci Guilty or Gucci Guilty Black having any floral in the top. But this Gucci Guilty Essence does. And I like it. It smells good. All of these are extremely well-made fragrances. The one thing I will say about designer fragrances is they are better made now, in my opinion, than they ever been. As far as scent profile and scent quality, the problem is the lack of originality. Everything is starting to smell like everything else, but the quality of the juice is, is definitely there. I think this could be unisex. It probably should have been marketed as a unisex fragrance. It may have uh, been more received, but nonetheless, I like it from, from the house of Gucci. It is Gucci Guilty Essence. That's a good one. My best friend's daughter's name is Essence. We all call her E. Another one that I've got to get on my skin a little bit more from the house of Prada, and it is it's Prada Lunarosa Ocean Le Parfum. Say that five times fast. I paid, I'll, I paid almost $200 for this bottle of cologne as I sit here. I like it. Does it smell great? Absolutely. Absolutely. It honestly smells like a niche fragrance. It smells like something from the house of Parfums de Marley. Did I overpay for it? Uh, short scheme? No. Grand scheme? Long term? Yes. But you have to do, uh, I have to keep in mind also for every bottle that I've purchased from Dillard's recently, I get a free bottle with it because the only time I really purchase is when they're doing that sale. So. aquatic woody a little bit of a leathery vibe it, it's this is sexy it's a this is a grown man sexy fragrance um it's not going to be an extremely loud fragrance it's one that's going to sit really close to the skin but it just smells like money this fragrance just smells like intelligence sophistication It just smells like a man in his 40s. It doesn't smell old or dated, but it just smells like a man that's about his business. That's what I get from this fragrance. I think Prada did a really, really nice job with this fragrance. Therefore, I didn't mind the price tag on it. In the instant that I sprayed it, I knew I was gonna get it. As a matter of fact, I took YSL's why elixir out i told him put that one back and give me the product because i had smelled them both and i was just like i don't really want to pay that for a fragrance but then when i saw the price tag on the why and the size of the bottle i said now nah, give me the product give me the product and i like this fragrance i do again it, it it's ha it has a little bit of everything in it it's a little bit spicy, a little bit woody, a little bit aquatic, very warm, inviting. I think this is a year round type of scent. I think this is one you can wear in the summer or the winter or the spring. I think you can wear this uh, in the office. I think you can wear this on a date. This is one of those bottles that I see people that if, if a person were to grab, I could see them wearing this as a signature scent. It's just nice. Just a good smelling fragrance. Again, it reminds me of something from Parfums de Marley. Maybe it's got a little bit of a latent kick to it, but I like it. I like it a lot. From the house of Parfums de Marley. De Marley. From the house of Prada. It is Prada Lunarosa Ocean Le Parfum. And that's a good, that's a good one. As it is said, from the house of 
off on the market, but that's what was on my mind. This next one is one I haven't had very long. I haven't had any of these very long, now that I think about it. But the next one is from the house of Gorlon, and it is Gorlon Lon IDL Extreme. I don't know who be making the names up for these fragrances, man. This is one I got in the trade from my good friend, Mr. Corvin. And I um, traded him this one and a Roberto Cavalli fragrance. No, I traded him a Vain and Naive Nishane for this and Roberto Cavalli Wumo. This is good. This is good. And it smells about like that juice looks. When you see a juice like this, I mean, you automatically think gourmand, sweet, boozy. And that's what you get with this. This is a very grown man type of scent. I mean, this, all of these fragrances are, with the exception of the Gucci. The Gucci smells good, but it, it's it's a little bit less grown man than the rest of the fragrances on this list. But this one right here, this is just a nice fragrance. I like it because it's really, really subtle. Punches way above its weight class. A little bit boozy, a little bit sweet, a little bit leathery. It just comes off as a really well-made fragrance. But it is a well-made fragrance. Again, it's from Guerlain. And I think these are being discontinued in this bottle. So any chance I have to pick up one that's in this type of bottle, I will definitely pick it up. But I like the scent profile of that. It is really, really nice. So anytime I have, the, oh man. A little bit of citrus is starting to come through as it sits on my skin, but not a lot. That's just a very sexy, I hate to say it again, but I'm going to say it again. Grown Man Fragrance. I'm going to say the name of this one more time so y'all know. In case you're looking for it and you come across it, somebody wanting to sell one or um, trade one. This is Golan Loam IDL Extreme. And this is, this is good. This is really good. That's really, really good. I, I like that. It's got me in here hugging myself. It's, it's got some citrus in it, but it's something. At the same time, it just smells clean. Man, that's nice. Man, that, that's, that's, that's nice. Whew, that's nice. All right, that's four. So I've got three more. This next one, I got when I made the purchase with my homeboy Cheapo when I purchased his box, when I purchased Cheapo's box um, from the house of Chanel. And it's been a long time coming getting this one in my collection, but from the house of Chanel, it is platinum. Ego East. And I just feel like I'm in my 40s, middle to late 40s at that. I'm 48.7. You know, I'll, <laughs> I'll be I'll be 49 in December, and you know, I don't know where the time is gone. But I feel like every man of a certain age should have a fragrance like this in his collection. Mm-hmm. And why do I say I feel like every man should have a fragrance like this in his collection? Let's just be honest, okay? Let's just be honest. Young boys ain't gonna bother this. If this is sitting on your dresser and they spray this, they're not gonna bother this. That's not, they're not gonna bother this. It's so smooth and so clean. And it just goes with that old gray in that beard. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just, it just goes with it. And, Man, I can see me wearing this right here with a nice pair of, of stone washed, light, uh, light denim stone washed jeans on, a nice pair of sneakers, and a nice polo sweater or something like that. But, or a nice just, you know, V-neck cardigan or something. I mean, it just, it's just classy. It's just classy. It's just smooth, classy, very, very regal. 
And you talk about smell like money. I'm gonna do a video. Fragrances that smell like money. This smell like money right here, y'all. This 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 smell like this smell like money. This that's just it's man. It does, man. It just smells like money. It smells like something that you would wear during the Christmas holiday season. It's just got that vibe to it, man. I'm so proud to have this in my collection. When he offered this to me, I was just like, oh yeah, that's coming home. It need a new home. It need a new home from one Bama boy to another. But if you don't have this in your collection, you may definitely want to try and pick it up. That's just good. That's just good, man. A little bit of a barbershop fougere style of fragrance, but it, it just when you think it's gonna go in that direction, it comes back and stays really really clean um i don't want to say that's pine like a pine needle smell but sort of but it smells more clean than anything it just smells like money it smells like money this is one i'll definitely pull out during the holidays and wear but for now i've got to try to get it on my skin this early fall late summer because technically we're still in the middle of the summer we're still having 90 degree temperatures in Alabama so this next one I haven't had very long at all in fact I purchased it when I was on vacation but I've done so many what's new to the collection videos I didn't want to do one plus I had a whole box of fragrances but you know, no vacation would be complete without your boy choice since purchasing a fragrance. So from the house of Tom Ford, it is Noir Extreme Puffle. And this is one I've got to get on my skin really soon. Now, do you need Tom Ford Noir Extreme and Noir Extreme Perfume? Nope. You don't. <laughs> but I do and again I don't buy fragrances unless there's some type of sale did I overpay for this fragrance um depends on how you look at it I paid more for it where I purchased it which was at a perfume shop in Biloxi I paid more for it than I if I had purchased it uh say Joma shop it was about $20 more than what I would have gotten it for at Fragrance X and Fragrance Net, but it was about $80 less than what I would have got it for at Dillard's. So, um, at the end of the day, I'm happy with it, and the reason for it was I bought two bottles, and it was buy one bottle, get the second bottle, either 30% off or 50% off. So I bought two bottles of Tom Ford, and of course, they weren't doing the 50% off on the top floor. It was just 30%, but still. I walked out of there with two bottles of fragrances that I had been wanting for a while, and I'm happy to have them in my collection. Again, I overpaid probably for the both of them, probably by 50 bucks, but it's okay. I'm on vacation, so I did not care. And I find a, a place to put this on my skin. And again, I, I really feel like I really feel like this could be a unisex fragrance. And I feel the same way about um, Noir Extreme. That is good. Now, is Noir Extreme Parfume the exact same as Noir Extreme? No. No, there's subtle differences. There's subtle differences, but at the same time, the question I pose is, do you need them both? No, I don't. But when you're trying to put out 25 videos a month, you need fragrances. You just need fragrances and material. And I can't keep showing you the same fragrance over and over and over and over and over again. So there you have it. That's part of the reason why I bought it. It's a Tom Ford fragrance. I won't lose money 
you know. Like I can put this fragrance back in the box right now and post it on Facebook. And it may not sell to somebody in the group, but I assure you, every time I post a video on Facebook and I'm wearing a Tom Ford fragrance, some of the non-frag heads always want to chime in and they're always just like da -da 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 because Tom Ford as a name in fragrance just draws more attention than any other designer fragrance out there. And I like it. I do. This is this is one that I think definitely can be a unisex fragrance. And it is a fingerprint magnet. Good luck keeping this bad boy clean. But from the house of Tom Ford, it is Noir Extreme. Again, could easily be a unisex fragrance. I can definitely see me wearing this one at night. And I'm going to tell you, your boy probably going to wear this one with a hoodie and some joggers and some clean sneakers and some accessories and I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna have some either on my right some on my left hell with me you never can tell I may have on both of them might walk through there like the champ on Harlem nights come on come on babies <laughs> you know you can't never tell I'm an Alabama boy you just you never know but I do think this is a, a beautiful fragrance. It took me a while to come around to Tom Ford fragrances. It, it, it took me a while, especially Noir Extreme and, and Noir Extreme Parfum because they are so sweet and they really sweeten up on my skin. But nonetheless, I still like them. So that's what you get with this one is a slightly sweet fragrance that goes really, really sweet. It's almost like it's a little hint of chocolate or truffle or something in this. But it just, it just smells good. It's very, very subtle. Now it's not one that's going to uh, introduce you as you come through the door. That would be the Platinum Ego East. It's going to say hello, hi, my name is. Uh, this one sits a little closer to the skin, at least on me, but it is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, so. Moving right along, because I got one more from the house of Tom Ford. It is Tom Ford's Noir Extreme Parfum. And last but not least, another one that I've recently picked up, picked up right before I left from the house of Giorgio Armani from the line of Aqua Di Gio. It is Aqua Di Gio, the Parfum. No, that's wrong. The Parfum is back there. This is the EDP, it's the Eau de Parfum. I have the Parfum, I've worn it two or three times since I've had it, I love it. This is the Eau de Parfum. I also have Dapper's version, so. I'm trying to find the spot to spray here. I haven't worn this yet. I was told by one of my subs when, oh my goodness. That just hit the nose really, really heavy. Really, really hard. That's good. Mm. A little bit of an alcohol twinge. Um, out of all these fragrances that I've sprayed and no, Notice I said earlier in the video that fragrances, the designer fragrances were getting better. Um, and that is what I meant. Like out of seven fragrances, this was the only one that I was hit with a alcohol blast right there in the beginning. Even with the Gucci, it wasn't really much of a blast now. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm not saying that this fragrance uh, is not going to be a good fragrance because of that. It's probably going to be a fragrance out of all of these that projects the most. But I like this fragrance. Is Dapper's really close to it? It is. It, it really is. So for the money, for the money, you should probably get Dapper's. The only reason that I bought this fragrance, if I'm just being 100% honest with you, is because I have so many from the uh, Aqua De Jo line. And I mean, I have a lot. I'm only missing maybe one or two. Um, and I found one seller, one seller 
that had three different fragrances. Two of them I happened to want, and I convinced him to do a bundle deal, and yeah, and the rest is history. And this is a 4.2 ounce, so it's a pretty good size bottle, and that will last me a lifetime, so I am content with this. It just smells good. It's got a nice citrus up at the top. Once you let it burn just a little bit and you get past that um, alcohol blast, you have a really, really nice smelling citrus fragrance. A little bit more citrus in this one than the rest of the uh, Giorgio Armani, than the Aqua de Jolan. Reminds me a little bit of, what is that, Essential? I think that's how you pronounce that. I never could pronounce that one, which I picked up recently too. I don't wear that one though, because it's, it's, it's discontinued. But this one right here, I will wear. So, may even wear this to work tomorrow. And as you see, the levels are right here. And I got this full bottle for like 48, 49 bucks. Um, so I, I couldn't leave it at that price. So, because I know I've seen people getting it at Ross and places like that for 75 or I got it for 50 I actually got three fragrances for less than $100. I got that one, a 30 mil of Joe Malone, and a um, 1.3 ounce Polo Blue EDP. So I thought that was a pretty good package and I'm excited. Now, with that being said, I'm sure I'll have some people hit me up especially about decants of this one. Yes, I'm selling decants. Um, any, any, any fragrance that you see, I am willing to part with a five mil decant of, and, unless it's discontinued or like this one, which I know I need to buy a funnel. Can't spray this in a bottle. I'm not even gonna try. I understand I need to buy a funnel. I actually had one somewhere but I don't know what I did with it. I misplaced it. Anything else you see here, you can buy a decan of. Now, understand this when it comes to my decans. My prices are fair. My prices are fair. Because again, I'm not trying to get rich by selling decans. I'm not trying to have a website. I'm not trying to have a store, none of that. All I'm trying to do is put 10 to $15 in the gas tank, you know, or towards a fragrance or just anything like that and give you an opportunity to smell something that you haven't had or maybe even purchase something that you haven't had. Now, understand this as well. I don't make any purchase on anything without checking to see what it normally goes for, whether it's shoes, watches, or anything. I say that to say, if you buy a decant from me, are you, are you, interested in a decant from me don't expect to get a decant of this for six bucks because i mean that's just not realistic what i'll do is divide uh, the millimeters into the cost to see what i pay per mil and that's what i will charge and i'll take a little bit of it off because like scent splits and places like that you know for decants like that for two and five mil uh, decants charge you 50, 60 bucks. You know, mine are nowhere near that. Decant at that time for it may cost you 25 bucks shipped. And I feel like that's a fair price. It's a fair price. You know, I feel like anyway. Same thing with the Prada. You know. And as the price goes down on fragrances, you know, whatever. And my price always includes shipping. So if you want a decant of this, the email will be in the description below. Also, I'm gonna hit old JB Butters up and I wanna see if he's got an Aqua de Jo Butters. If not, I don't understand why he hasn't made one yet. All right, but anyway, with that being said guys, I'm gonna get off of here and I am going to edit this video and thumbnail this video and get it up so you guys can see it again. Thank you all so much for the last couple of months. We are ever so close to 5,000 subs and I'm gonna try to do a giveaway when we get to 5,000 subs. So 
I'm gonna get off here because my old back is starting to hurt and all of that stuff. But listen, thank you all so much, man. I feel like I have the best, coolest subs in the game. Y'all continue to keep checking in with me. Selma, Alabama has checked in a couple times. Bay Springs, Mississippi has checked in a couple times. Memphis 10 is always checking in. Nashville is checking in. Ain't heard from Knoxville yet. Uh, somewhere else in Alabama checked in with me. Somebody checked in from my neck of the woods in the shows area where I live, man. Keep checking in with me. That is that is so cool to me. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'm just a small little, small little YouTuber, man, enjoying what I do. I really, really enjoy this, and I hope it shows in the videos. But anyway, guys, I love you all. May God bless you all again. Email for me will be in the description below, and also the email to purchase you some JB Butters will be in the description below as well. With all that said, I am out. Thank you for returning to the scene of the crown. Oh yeah, and go Irish. They had a big win. I'm 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 pumped about this season. Looks like we're going to the playoffs. Peace.